So yes, we have a few devices over here where you can take a quick glimpse at this, just the same way you're setting it up. In fact, the first device we have here, as you can see on the screen, is a Samsung Ultrabook running Windows, Windows 8. Now on the screen, you're going to see all of the new uh, is, uh, tiles set up here on the start menu. You know, I can pop in and out of uh, applications that we have set up here that you mentioned, like go to meeting. Okay, we can come in here, pop into, say, share file. So this is all set up to work in here. And we're going to go into these applications in greater detail later in the day, but we can see them all melted into the right experience here. Of course, on top of that, too, Citrix receiver. So connect into that. All the applications that we can launch, and if we want a whole lot more, we can pop down below and get additional applications also. So the user experience here is just what you expect. We click over on the right side. We get into a start space, go into the desktop, applications all over the place, okay? So this is pretty straightforward, right? It's exactly what you're expecting to see. Citrix, Microsoft all melted together. And by the way, next Friday, when you walk into your electronics store, this is what you're gonna experience. You buy this, you come home with that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now the next thing is, well, I'll tell you what, what if you have Windows 7 and you wanna connect into Windows 8? So in this scenario, we're gonna connect through VDI back into a hosted uh, 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 Windows 8 virtual desktop, okay? okay? So to do that, we're gonna open a browser here and go into receiver. So we'll pop in a receiver and go ahead and authenticate in. And when you see, uh, once I log in here, you're gonna see I have access to a lot of desktops. This is just me. I know normal <laughs> people, probably not too many, but you know what, I like them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one here and connect in. So the HDX enhancements kick in here. So we connect in, Windows 8 now is somewhere in the cloud, right? I don't know where it is, but I'm connecting to it, and you can see it here. You can tell by that little tab on the very top of the screen up there that we're connected in through HDX. It's far away. So we certainly have all the apps that we mentioned here before. Uh, we have, uh, you know, look what we have here. We have Windows and Office 2013. So Office 2013 is all set up here, and as I click on it, you can see it's gonna launch, pull us into the desktop. Down below in the sys tray, you're gonna see the uh, app v5 icon down there, deployed, right, native or through Zen app, either way. Now, you know what happens here is we have a mixture, a mixture here of work and play, right? We've shown a lot of work so far, so we wanna show how you can also play. So there's an application here called Pinball FX, Microsoft, right? Mm -hmm. This is about Microsoft. So this is about connecting into applications that tie into the world of Xbox and your live ID. Now look at this. This is a remote connection to Windows 8, running Pinball FX remotely. Now I don't know how many of you have Pinball FX, but this is pretty fun. Typically you would grab, you know, your Xbox controller and connect and have a great time. Now here, when you're remote, you can take the keyboard and you can play. But if you have your Xbox controller with you, then you can plug it in and play too. Now, I don't know, some of you guys might know that I have a jacket that's kind of super modified. <laughs> you do, well, good, good, good. And you'll be seeing more of that later. Now there's all sorts of devices that I can pull out of here today, you know, and I had a special pocket made recently, which was the iPad pocket, exactly, right? <laughs> but I don't really call it the iPad pocket all the time, especially now, because what I have in here is an Xbox controller. And I'm sure you would too, if, <laughs> if you had the same pocket. Thank you. Now, what would I, of course, do with this? So we take the Xbox controller and we stick it into the USB port of the Ultrabook, Windows 7, remotely connected to Windows 8. And look at that, it flips right over. It's not touchpad control now, it's now click A to play, right? So we're logging into live for Windows Live into Xbox. So it's gonna go ahead and log into the live Windows Xbox here, loading my profile, as you would expect. And then I can continue to play. I can play a game. And you know, uh, I only have one controller here, so let's go ahead and uh, do that, okay? So we will click around. Oh, there goes the little X-Bot, dude. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna launch the ball here, you ready? Bang. Okay, now we got little paddles here on the side. So, well, see, you know, somebody else. Here, tell you what, Mark, you're way better Bad at this demo. than me. Okay, here you go. Oh, wait, oh wait, yeah, wait. well, sorry, I distracted you. You did, okay. you, you completely distracted All right, here we go. Okay. You got a little cable right, here. here, you got a little go. runway. Look, Look how great the... Yeah, flip those Great things. response. How, how do I hit the... Uh, oh, hit the A. Hit the, one. hit the A. And then launch that. Okay, here you go. All right. Now that's it. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to anticipate. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why he's chief demo officer, and I'm not. Okay. Boom. Okay, there we go, launch. <laughs> so listen, work and play from anywhere, I think that's one of our messages, right? And yeah, so and a native experience 
in spite of the fact that this is a completely virtual desktop. Amazing, okay? Work and play anywhere, right? I love that. Okay. And so now we start talking about kind of the future here. So we have other devices. And we're gonna go ahead and bring the camera in close here. And I'm gonna show you this device right here. So, yeah, so Brad, yes. before. So Windows 7, you know, Windows 8, you know, this, this probably was a Windows 7 device. In fact, it says it, the sticker is on that. Originally. So, you know, we upgraded it to Windows 8. That's right. right. But there's a whole incredible flood of Windows 8 designed devices. And we've seen a ton of them. The innovation here, I think, is going to amaze a lot of people. And uh, we've got our hands on one of the early ones here, and we want to show this to you. It's really, it's really incredible. Exactly. So one of our partners lent this to us because this device here you can't get your hands on until probably Christmas time, maybe January, right? And this is an HP NVX2. Now, what's interesting about this, it kind of looks the same as the laptop next to it, right? So what's interesting, though, is it's like you guys know you've done this before. If you have an iPad and you're playing around on it and touching it, and then you go back to your laptop, you end up touching your screen, right? Come on. I know it. I've done it. You've done it. So, so, but now the whole, the whole next generation of devices will have touch screen like this does here, right? So you have what appears to be a laptop, but it also has touch screen built in. So you can click away and work, but you can touch the screen, do exactly what you want to do. And by the way, you know, if you're on the airplane and you want to do that movie and lose the keyboard altogether, well, it pops right off. And you continue being interactive with it the way that you choose, okay? So the future of these devices is going to really change everything. More and more choice in the world. Yeah. BYO is going to yeah. allow folks to pick any device they want, things like this, and bring it into the workplace. Yeah. Okay? Citrix and Microsoft. And imagine these devices with the kind of battery life, the kind of connectivity, the kind of thinness and lightness that have made tablets so, so compelling for people. You know, you see, you see where these lines start to blur, and it gets easier for users, more choices, and more headaches for IT, right? More BYO to deal with, right? Good. So, so this is the future. And with this, flipping it closed, battery on both sides, very thin. You can take it with you anywhere, and I'm going to do that now. All right, take your controller, oh, too. Oh, yeah, that too. All right. All right. All right, great. I'll drag that behind me. Thank you, Brad. Thank you.